Hey everybody, what's up? This is Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, doing a general uh, retro news on E3 and uh, I guess updates on uh, G4 TV. Uh, let's get all the E3 stuff out of the way. Um, for all the stuff I've seen so far, uh, keep in mind this is day four before the uh, Nintendo conference has happened. Uh, what I can say after sitting through the Capcom conference that was the worst uh, conference ever because they basically saved all their stuff for Tokyo Game Show. Me, case in point. Uh, no new news other than they announced, uh, basically the, uh, Resident Evil 8 DLC, uh, card to my review for the story. Um, I have actually dabbled with the Mercenaries mode, uh, since that recording, and, uh, it's actually pretty good. Haven't really, uh, triple S plus all that. Uh, again, I'm not a gamer, I'm not gonna do graphics, uh, updates and stuff like that, or capture it, because I don't have the tech. Anyway, for the main show themselves, uh, I think, uh, surprisingly, Xbox had the better conference because they are literally the only game in town that actually shows up to E3 these days, minus the pandemic last year. Um, other than that, um, the biggest uh, shooters I've seen uh, of the conference was obviously Battlefield uh, 2042, so Carts are, I think, one of the gameplay trailers. Um, it looks great. It has the same uh, progression of Levolution. Uh, the only reason why I haven't really talked about this series in general is it was my casual game. Weird as it sounds for the multiplayer, uh, since I want to say like four, maybe even the 360 days with the Bad Company games. Uh, for 2042, it looks great. It has that near future kind of like stuff. Um, the Levolution like increases from like uh, basic combat to a natural disaster to even uh, going into space a la, I guess, uh, Fast 9 uh, coming uh, hopefully next week. So, that all being said, um, I don't know. It looks good. I'll probably pick it up for a PS5 or any next-gen console. Um, hopefully, if they have a pre, uh, previous generation uh, releases, they have like, a, like every other uh, system is doing is basically doing a jump to the next-gen uh, software update or whatever they're going to embed into the thing. I don't know the specifics. Uh, another thing I actually liked about the Xbox conference that made me extremely freaking jealous was Halo. Yeah, uh, Infinite had their uh, multiplayer trailer, uh, and it looks good. It looks pretty much what you needed to do after the lackluster performance they had last E3. So that was pretty cool for them. Um, that all being said, uh, I do not have an like, Xbox console since the 360. My brother had one and uh, this now Series X. Don't ask how I got the Series X. <laughs> Long story there. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It's going to keep the console strong. Um, hopefully, Infinite Story uh, makes up for the insanity that was uh, Hello 5, because even I don't want to remember that. Cards at that old school trailer, if you want to get through that. Yep. Um, so yeah, on to most of the other conferences was mostly PC gaming, a lot of indie showcases. And like I said, Capcom, pretty much no sell. They just basically announced just... Uh, the Resident Evil 8 DLC, some uh, multiplayer updates for any of the Monster Hunter games they've got going. Um, same for all the mobile titles they're doing. Um, like, definitely they're also doing a new uh, Phoenix Wright, uh, and like the, I guess, Old London. Uh, I forgot that time period, my bad, in advance. Uh, Victorian era, I think. Yeah, I believe it was Victorian era. Um, that all said, um, again, like I've basically said no uh, Sony presence other than most of the games that they were in the first couple of showcases were going to PS5 as well we're going to previous consoles but again it's just a bunch of indie titles that was guaranteed to be there to begin with so again go to any of your usual uh, video game channels to confirm what I just said because I'm pretty sure I'm right on some games not all games obviously now on to the G4 stuff uh First and foremost, I'm very impressed, I'm not gonna lie. They actually turned a corner, they have new people that actually know the gaming circuit nowadays, uh, which was the entire entertainment circuit other than just gaming, um, but then again, they'll probably be later down the road. Uh, Kevin showed up a couple of times on some streams uh, on their, I think their official Twitch and um, I think their YouTube. Um, Sessler apparently has a, a phobia of not having an Instagram, uh, Adam speaking as a guy who has an Instagram for a good couple of years now, it's really not as toxic as probably what you're going through on, on Twitter, long story, not gonna get into it, um, the only big pickup I actually forgot to mention was, uh, Fiona Nova from, uh, originally, uh, Rooster Teeth, she transferred to, uh, G4, I guess for editing, uh, purposes now, now, like, I, I think she doesn't want to show a huge presence probably in streams later on down the road. Um, she looks okay, she looks, I think she's just, if I'm not, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Um, I could be wrong, again, like I said, 
she might be editing for that esports show um i've seen a couple of videos they actually look pretty good uh i do not want to fuck with frost <laughs> she sounds like uh, a definite co-host definite anchor that's gonna stay there for a good long while um for everyone else uh i can't name names because again i don't know the huge like e-circuit when it comes to uh esports but uh, obviously may if i got her name right looks to be the standout like she definitely has a lot of personality definitely reminds me a lot ironically like uh, olivia mom back when she was starting out on g4 so maybe some parallels there who knows um as for the network itself going fully online until they get picked up on tv best guess comcast will probably put them on peacock um if that's the case that would suck um like i said with previous videos uh, discussing g-force return um, however, for the meantime, um, they have a, they have a Discord, um, I'm not gonna card or put the link down in the description because, I'm um, pretty sure if you go to their official YouTube channel, which I'll leave down below, they probably have a Discord link in any of their videos, so I recommend going through that, those channels, just to keep it official, uh, basic standards you fear for most of their Discord stuff, discussions of, like, uh, previous stuff they've done, uh, previous shows, and current shows, and even talking about general entertainment, just what I was talking about, so, that all being said, uh, this is a meh kind of E3, but was coming to be expected when it came to the pandemic, and we had tempered our expectations. But like I said earlier in this video, the Capcom conference basically broke me because I kind of thought there'd be more. But it sounds like they're just going to save all their stuff for the Tokyo Game Show. And if that does happen, I'll probably do a react if they do now. It's like DLC for like either Ada or for uh, the Wolf Squad that Chris was having uh, throughout the back half of the, of the finale of the game. Won't spoil that, but the Wolf Squad look pretty good. I checked their character models. They're actually different. They're not just, like, big hooded guys. They're actually, they actually have character. I'm not gonna leave that for the sake of spoilers. Um, keep in mind, they say, like, five lines of dialogue total, but I'm gonna leave it in the pocket just in case they get DLC. Um, best guess, I would assume they'll probably be guest characters for either a Ghost of Fivers DLC or basically, like, new uh, Mercenaries uh, maps. Like, what would they do with their loadouts like uh, Ethan was doing with um, some of Chris's uh, levels with his back half of the, of, of the plot. So, again, my bad there if I got that right or wrong. So, uh, speculating uh, most of what happened here aside, uh, Anchor is finally coming up to my previous video, which was... Hang on one sec. I believe... Uh, just... Oh yeah, talking about Masters of the Universe, uh, other previous video here to my quick thoughts on um, Batwoman stuff, uh, short here obviously to uh, sub the channel, notification down, bell down below for future content, and uh, hopefully, uh, speaking of says future content, I'm going to try my best to do, uh, like I said, my Cyber 6 Pride oriented retro review, since this is still Pride Month as of this recording, um, and another retro review I've been wanting to do ever since I finished watching uh, some old school Mortal Kombat. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, get ready. That's all I want to say. So, uh, future uh, reviews coming down the road later this week. Still hunkered down on E3 news. Um, again, the Nintendo Congress hasn't happened. Maybe they'll have a Smash character. I don't know. Maybe, I guess, Doom Guy would be kind of funny. But then again, that's, that's been a hope since, I guess, the launch of uh, Smash Ultimate. So, take care, subscribe. This is Retro Character Care Reviews. Uh, very woken up for hopefully a decent ending for E3. Oh, and uh, uh, as a quick reminder, yes, uh, Greg hosted most of the show, and he did a pretty good job. Previous video, somewhere there. And um, no outro, because again, I'm still hungry down in news mode, so with that being said, let's get back to the news.